welcome to another episode of Security 101. And we're going to trail on last week. We covered the button on the iPhone 5S to the fingerprint reader button. And we wanted to continue down the Google side of things. This hasn't been a question, but it, it goes along right with last week. So if you have a Google phone, a lot of them have face detection. So when you turn the phone on, a little box will pop up and it'll tell you, uh, it'll show your face in there. And if it knows who you are, it'll log you right in. Otherwise it comes up, ask you for a passcode, just like this one here just did. But if I am looking at the phone, it knows who I am and it logs me in. So is that safe? Well, I think overall, again, like last week, it's better than having no password at all. Not as good as a passcode. Is it as good as a four digit code? I'd say they're about equal because I have had this actually open up by somebody else, a family member. So there's a possibility that it was similarly similar face, but I've had it open up when it wasn't me. And I was with them and I was demonstrating this and uh, it actually opened up. So my personal experience would be it's not as secure as probably the fingerprint reader is, but if you have no password, it's better than no password. And if you have a number password, I would say it's probably about equal, maybe not quite as good. So am I saying to do it or not to do it? Well, it's totally up to you. If you don't use a password, do it. If you already have a password that you, you have in here that's longer than four digits, don't, don't do it. Don't use the face detection. And that may improve for time. This is a very early thing. The face detection will get better and better as time goes on. But just another feature of Google. All right, that's it for Security 101 this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.